My name is Jacob Keach. I live in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I graduated in 2001 from ECOT. It was definitely risky being one of the first people to sign up for ECOT, uh, but at the same time, it's definitely a great feeling uh, knowing that I was one of the first to kind of pave the way for all the people that could go through. Uh, now I'm managing Sky Galley Restaurant in Cincinnati. As manager here at Sky Galley, I um, you know hire, um, deal with employees, come up with all the specials that we run on the weekends and holidays. I get the opportunity to jump online every once in a while, which is always exciting. Well, my name is Sydney DeBerry, and I'm a 2014 ECOP graduate. Well, I first started looking for another option because of the harassment and torture and stuff that I was going through in uh, public and private schools. Um, I just was fed up with it. I like big hair and lots of makeup, and you know, I, that's just who I am. And I was totally unapologetic for that, and ECOT really just encouraged me, and it was cool. Since I've graduated, my sister and I have our own online business. It's called Perfect Gifts Calore, and uh, we sell all kinds of stuff for all different ages. We have shoes, clothing, jewelry. ECOT really was like the quintessential aspect of everything that I want to pursue. I'm Ben Kernute, a 2014 graduate from ECOT, and I'm a current student of Lorain County Community College. So in eighth grade, I heard about the PSEO program through ECOT, that I could actually take college classes all the way through high school. And I started college classes right here on campus, ninth grade, uh, in that building right behind me, actually. My degree will be in uh, computer technologies, uh, engineering. So I like fixing computers, I like IT, so because of all the opportunities ECOT afforded me, I was able to accomplish way more than I ever would have been able to normally. Uh, so ECOT really gave me a jump start on my college career. My name is Amber. I'm a 2011 graduate from ECOT and I'm from Andover, Ohio. In sixth grade, I went to a private art school and when I finished that, I didn't know how to write a paper coming out of there. ECOT helped me in a lot of ways. I had a lot more self-confidence I was able to graduate a whole year early. I immediately went into cosmetology school and I immediately started working at Hair Trends, which is where I still work. I've always wanted to do hair since I was probably about six. It's just always something that's interest to me. It's a very good feeling knowing that you can make someone feel good about how they feel, put a smile on their face. My name is Jared Adams. Uh, I was a 2013 graduate of ECOT and I'm a current uh, student at The Ohio State University. Without ECOT, I probably would not be quite as, as prepared for college, especially um, especially right at first. I ended up earning a $5,000 scholarship. It definitely paved the way for me and made things a lot easier. Having those intense online courses and having those teachers that pushed me harder my last year of school definitely prepared me for what it was like to have professors who wouldn't go as easy on you. So ECOT definitely, definitely prepared me for the success that I am currently achieving right now. So I'm on my way to achieving my bachelor's degree and the career of my dreams. I'm Kelly Bobo, ECOT class of 2004. After I graduated from ECOT, I decided I wanted to go to school to be a teacher and I wanted to work for ECOT. I graduated in the spring of 2009 from Youngstown State University with um, a Bachelor of Science in Middle Childhood Education. I applied for ECOT immediately and got hired the end of that summer to start in the fall of 2009 as an eighth grade lift teacher. Because I was a student at ECOT, I feel that I'm better able to relate to the students that attend ECOT because I was on the other side of that computer screen. I was sitting in the spot that they're sitting in. There's a lot of technology involved in continuing education. Colleges, universities, many of them have online courses, and I think that ECOT students are better prepared to handle those types of courses. The words of wisdom I would give to the class of 2015 is, don't ever give up on your dreams. You're gonna come across obstacles and hurdles and you're gonna to wanna to give up. But if you fall seven times, you must stand up eight.